On this video, we're gonna take a look at the Montessori puzzles. They help your little one with memory, cognition, and of course, gross motor skills. Unlike regular puzzles, if a kid were to bump this, it's not gonna fall out because again, it's sitting in the grooves. Then you can see that this is all a wooden back. Absolutely great puzzles that are definitely better than having an iPad for your kid. Hey everybody, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you these cute little puzzles. What makes this special is that Behind here, there is the picture. So you can put this right here on the side, just as if you had a box. And then you can put this here. And then of course you just, I'm not gonna spread this whole thing out because I don't wanna do it. But you just basically put your pieces on here and then you or you and your child basically try and go and figure out where this goes. And the great thing is that the edges already have a starting point. Now the pieces are actually a little small. so. I would recommend these for like a three-year-old plus, but if you believe that your child is a savant and a prodigy, you can definitely be beside them as you are putting these down. But yes, they are absolutely non-toxic, so it's completely safe for them to put them in their mouth. As long as you see them, hey, stop, don't do it. It's okay if they just put their lips on this. And you can see that the pieces are nice and tight, right? So. Unlike regular puzzles, if a kid were to bump this, it's not gonna fall out because again, it's sitting in the grooves. So we're gonna put this in, see that? Okay, I'm already screwing up here, here, and So let's go through all of them right now. Okay. So let's put the cheat sheet back on here, and then you can see that this is all a wooden back. So we have a couple on here. So these are kind of like Montessori educational things because they help your little one uh, with memory, cognition, and you know, of course, um, gross motor skills. So we got the panda, and then we've got a nice Christmassy theme with a the polar bear. And then we've got this one, ooh, dinosaur. So this one's a pretty realistic one. So again, dinosaurs. And then we've got another fun little space adventure thing. And we've got Mr. Alien, one eyed alien here. And then we've got this one. So then you've got the school. So this is like bear and um, the lion and the monkey is the bookworm. And then we're gonna go look at this one. This is the farm animals. And there's also a flying dragon. There's a nice cute rainbow. There's the piglet. There's the little monkey, a horse, a cow skin. Uh, and then this is the cars theme here. And then we've got quite a lot, as you guys can see. So this is another one. This is like a, a contract in which is an excavator and all the kids are having fun because they're being engineers and they're working. And you've got the little mermaids, uh, little sea creatures. Uh, then you've got more sea creatures. They're all very cute and colorful. And then we've got two more. Uh, this one is for like the really, really young ones because you got big shapes, big trains, and very simple objects. And then finally, you've got another zoo one. So this is like the African safari. It's gonna take you a couple of weeks to get through them, and then you can start over again, and your little one's not gonna remember how to put them together because you've gone through so many. So there you have it. Absolutely great puzzles that are definitely better than having an iPad for your kid. Thanks for watching and we will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.